Hey everybody, welcome back to Don't Starve Rain of Giants, or welcome to Don't Starve Rain of Giants, as this is your first experience with it. I'm Bear, and I probably owe uh, quite a few of you, a handful of you, an explanation as to what's been going down between the last episode and this current episode. Before we do that, though, I will go ahead and choose a new game, as I should explain. Uh, apparently, when I went on a little bit of a hiatus with this game, the local cache was compromised or something like that. The game was having issues before that, but now I uh, apparently just needed to clear everything out and unfortunately lost all my save data as a result of that. So we won't be continuing with Woody's story, but we will be able to start off a fresh one. And I kind of want to go with, um, with Wendy, the bereaved. Haunted by her twin sister, comfortable with darkness, doesn't hit very hard. This one seems interesting to me. I think this is the one I want to roll with for this brand new endeavor here. So let's go ahead and start off a new game with Wendy. And uh, I'll explain momentarily here as we're waiting for the loading screen that uh, I did, I left a comment on the latest video of Don't Starve Reign of Giants. Uh, I took a bit of a hiatus from this, I took a bit of a break just because it was, uh, didn't really have the same spark for me that it once did. And I, I thought that maybe giving it a bit of time off, trying to, uh, trying to keep things fresh for myself may, may reignite that spark and give us a a better opportunity to, uh, to experience the game as though it were brand new to me once more. So that's, that's what happened there. I apologize if you missed it. I know a lot of people were asking for it, and I, I do, I do apologize dearly for that. But we had a whole bunch of other things going on as well, so hopefully, uh, you were able to enjoy one of the other many wonderful series here available on the Bear Taffy channel. But I am, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back. I'm coming back to this, and I'm already, I'm already starting to feel feel adventurous, feel, feel, uh, there's a spunk in my step. That sounds disgusting. That sounds like I stepped in something here. Uh, it's probably, yeah, there, right in the burrow. That's, that's where that belongs. We have something in here. It's Abigail's flower. All right. She speaks in flute. I'm not fluent in flute, so you'll have to, um, pardon me as I try to interpret what she says. I believe it was something about Abigail, her sister. That kind of concerns me. We found out what Woody's perk was, uh, kind of unintentionally, so I'm assuming that something similar will happen here with Abigail, or with Wendy, rather, and her sister Abigail. I'm gonna need to make an axe really fast and see if I can pick up some flint here. Yeah. There we go, and there is our tool. Beautiful. I gotta, gotta put myself back in my, uh, in my own shoes, so to speak. I've gotta relearn the wizardry of don't starve and the act of not starving. That's... That's the most critical element of this resurgence here, which is most likely the episode title. You see how I worked that in there? Oh my goodness, I'm back. I'm back, man. We got this shit. Money in the bank, mm-hmm. Butterflies in the net, more like. Take it out. Take it out. Oh, damn it. Death will find you. Holy shit, she is morbid. Oh, that's probably gonna play into things. I would certainly imagine so. So let's go ahead and try to find some biomes as soon as we're done chopping down trees and gathering tools and whatnot. I'm probably gonna need to make a pickaxe pretty soon here. In fact, I need a couple more flint for that. Hello. I envy his escape. Oh my god, well we got a fire dart as a result of that, so I suppose there's not much you can be envying now that you reap the benefits of his death, you son of a- No, oh, it's alright. She's fine. We found some rabbits here. That's always good, a good source of food if I happen to need it. And there are these, uh, freaky-ass trees again. I, uh, I know, I remember now, I remember feeling so innocent about these little critters. Or about these little, uh, woodland constructs, rather. And I'm pretty sure I, uh, I've spoiled for myself the experience that I, I may be running into later on as a result of that innocence, but... For now, I will continue to be ignorant and blissful in such condition. And hopefully, that remains true for at least a little while. Now, we're still looking for some additional biomes here. We've already found quite a few trees, different kinds of trees, in fact. A couple of roadways as well, which is obviously helpful. I miss having my walking stick, my good old bear character. Could always trot about so quickly. Oh, hello there. That one, that one shook around. I think that's just a... A regular old uh, happenstance for those things, though, so maybe I shouldn't be freaking about freaking about about it too much right now. Mole worm, very interesting. I don't know if the burrows are different from just the mole worms in general. I'd imagine they are. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep on picking up some berries and carrots here as we go around. 
Not too hungry just yet. We will have to try to construct some shelter pretty soon, though, by which I mean uh, build a campfire, of course, because I remember exactly what's going down. These roadways are ending prematurely, and that's unsettling to me. Where might I find some stone? That's the that's the uh, the big thing, the big ticket I'm looking for right now to the grand show, the grand poobah, if you will. Big old mass of boulders that would make me smile if I could find such a thing. I might just have to go ahead and uh, build a regular old campfire. Oh goodness! Wow. Whoa. This is new. This is very new, but this is what I'm looking for as well. Interesting. So I think I have enough fl oh, okay. Oh, man. I thought... Oh, I thought that was something else. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get this rock and gold here. I'm going to be building a science machine as well as a uh, good old-fashioned campfire pretty shortly here. But I am uh, I'm kind of scared of the vultures that apparently surround these parts. Also, I hear that neither is not nearly as useless as it once was, so I might have to keep that in my inventory for at least a little while. We've got a lot of good stuff now, though. I'm going to go ahead and try to fill up these stacks of rocks, gold, and uh, flint, because they are very, very useful tools in and of themselves. And once I've got a sufficient amount, I will go ahead. Probably not going to build a campfire directly underneath these shadows. I don't think that's the best plan at the moment, but I will build one... Pretty close to this, uh, oh god, I'm gonna have to build another one of these, actually. My god, I went, I went through that really fast. I'm gonna have to build one pretty close by to this. God, those crows! <laughs> freaking me out. I keep thinking it's gonna be like a, a vulture swooping down to end my life. Which I suppose Wendy would not be too worried about. Oh yes, and the puddle as well, the melted mini glacier. I keep forgetting that, uh, wetness is a factor in the expansion here, so... Gotta keep that in mind, too. This is gonna be, uh, I'm still really excited about the fact that I have not yet discovered quite a few things involved with the expansion pack for this game. I, uh, I obviously have an increased interest due to the fact that I haven't played in quite some time, but I am still, uh, I'm still a virgin to all of these, to all of these new experiences, so that's still just as exciting as it was, uh, recently enough, so... Go ahead and build up our campfire. This looks like a decent enough spot for it. By the by, the water is not really the greatest idea, but I think we'll be okay. Now let's go ahead and chop down a few more trees while we're over here. I've got a bit of my axe left over, so let's do that now. Nightfall is upon us, and uh, she's not scared of the darkness, so I'm wondering what's going to happen as soon as we experience our first nighttime here. It could be that she's just able to, you know, like wander about without any fear of retort from from the wilderness. I might as well try that. I mean, like, what I could do is just wander about out like this. The darkness has swallowed me. And there was light. Okay. I'm kind of terrified of what's gonna happen. Her, her white soulless eyes do not really do much to comfort me here. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pretend this is a horror game for a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and just venture out into the darkness, into the great unknown, and see how long it takes for her to experience some kind of crazy terror. The darkness has swallowed me. Alright. So apparently... Oh, I'm attacked. Alright, well, I guess that's that. Alright. So she's not afraid of it. Which must mean she doesn't lose sanity as a result of darkness, but she certainly is still capable of being attacked by the demon. Huh. Well, I don't really want to let her die. Although I suppose I wouldn't be at too much of a loss considering we're only on day one. But I am curious to see whether or not, like, her resolve of acceptance of death is, uh, you know, implicitly suggests that her dying to the demon of the darkness would be a good thing for her, maybe. She'll also probably cook up some berries and eat them up. Yummy, yummy, yummy. That was an, uh, overly... Or an unnecessarily complex way of describing my curiosity about her expeditions into the unknown. Oh well. Fill it up on those berries and let's go ahead and venture out into the, uh, into the great beyond once more for day two. A buzzard! Yes, that's what that is. I thought it was a vulture, but a buzzard is a much more, uh, much easier thing to believe. Considering there are no dead bodies strewn around here, or perhaps there are. I just haven't found them yet. This is pretty much exactly what I was looking for, this big, gigantic wasteland of rock. That was, uh, that was priority numero uno when we were venturing out in this direction, so I'm, I suppose I'm 
Pretty excited to have just found that. I don't need, know if I need to, like, harvest any of this water or anything like that, though. I wonder if I just stand in a puddle if my wetness will go up. I should ask my, myself that question about real life. If I just stand in a puddle, will my wetness statistic increase? All life is about statistics. If you don't realize that, you need to go back to college. Because that's what they teach you. They don't teach you about, like, making friends or networking or trying to utilize the influence of your peers to win yourself a position in a wholly prestigious company, retire at 65, have a few kids, and die in southern Florida. No, it's all about statistics. Like the probability that you'll grow up to live to 65, have a few kids, and die in southern Florida. Now that is very unlikely, but at least you know. And that's why I went to school. Alright, time to get more older. I was looking for the edge here, and I think I found it. I'm six feet from it, and I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't listen to Creed anymore. Uh-huh. Do I need gold? I guess so. I mean, I might as well. I don't know if these dark gold rocks are different from the light gold rocks. That's just racist of me to suspect such a thing, though. Moving on down. Need to find some buffalo. That's obviously a, uh, a desirable biome to uh, happen upon. So if we could get that, that would pretty much round out all the necessities. Although I haven't found a swamp yet either. I really need to go exploring a bit more. I think that's what the problem is. I'm not exploring nearly as much as I ought to be right now. And I have quite a few of everything I might need anyway, so I suppose I might as well just venture about. Especially because my pickaxe just broke. Look at how daintily she runs. That's not really dainty. That's that, that's actually like a, a very admirable track running pose stance. What is this called? It's not when, it's when you're moving. I guess... Position? No, that's, that sounds like a stationary descriptor as well. What in the world would this be called? Maneuvers. Sure, let's go with that. Following the road seems like a decent enough idea. Let's have a quick look at the map here. So this looks like... Alright, so this is where all the buzzards are. I think this is just one massive stretch of rock up here. So I don't know if I want to stick around in this area anymore. Let's see if maybe it di diverges off to the right side. Hello! There we go! A spear! And a gnome and a box thing! These are beautiful! Beautiful little pickups! Very nice, I'm glad I checked that out. Oh man, that's good. I think. I'm, I'm, re I'm really not sure, honestly. I don't know w whether or not those are gonna play into effect later on. I'm hoping they will. I'm gonna need to build the chest pretty soon here. I also need to build a science machine. I need to store away quite a few of these uh, things that I've picked up through my travels here in the in the Boulder w wilderness. Boulder, Colorado, that's where we are right now. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I've discovered the location, that makes me happy. All right, so this is all just Boulder. This is all just one big stretch of Colorado. Cur the rooter. Do I need to kill bees? I don't think I need to kill bees, especially if they're not aggressive bees. I have that, I have that issue in real life too. Determining whether or not I need to kill bees. I want to leave them be, man. Leave them be! <laughs> um, but, uh, I can't. I can't because they terrify me. That's just, that's just the truth. Alright, science machine. And now we've got quite a few different options uh, available. An endothermic fire. This fire is from opposite day. What the hell? Okay. Uh, I guess I'll try it. Whoa. The gloom encroaches. The darkness will be here soon. I must prepare. Her <laughs> voice is so bizarre. Um, that was interesting. All right, I need to make some. I uh, need to make some boards. So let's go ahead and refine here. Boards for four logs. One, two, and three. There we go. All right, and I need to put some of this stuff down so I can pick up the boards. One, two, three, and then we'll make a chest. As soon as I can find where that is again, there we go, and then we will start putting away all this nonsense. I don't know what this is, and it frightens me. I don't like new things. Uh, gnome! Don't need that. And, uh, I don't think I want to get rid of Ab Abigail's flower. I'm kind of terrified to do that. I will, however, plant a lot of these pine cones, just because I know I need to build myself a pretty reasonably sized forest here. I also clicked the wrong button there. There we go. Keep on planting. Just go ahead and make yourself a uh, 
Make yourself a pentagram out of pine cones here, Wendy. That seems like a really good idea for the kind of person you are. I need to cook up some carrots as well. I wonder if cooking carrots over the endothermic fire doesn't work. Well, that makes sense. Uh, can I feed this thing? Fuel? I can add fuel. That kind of worked, yeah. Alright, I need to uh, I need to chop down some more trees and uh, get myself some fuel real fast. Go ahead and equip that. I'm really hoping I don't run into a, uh, a tree monster early on here. These buzzards, I have a feeling, if my sanity depletes enough, or my, it might have something to do with my health levels as well. Because they weren't coming down when I was at full health, so maybe that is indeed the factor. I'm, I think I'm starting to learn something here. If my health is low enough, the buzzards may come a crawling. A quartin, rather. Buzzer came a quartin and he did not. Uh huh. Uh huh. Buzzer came a quartin and he did not. Uh huh. Uh huh. Buzzer came a quartin and he did not. Try to hit me with his paw. Oh god. Alright, here we go. Uh, add the fuel. Add the fuel. Oh no. Oh wow. If trees could talk, they would scream at the sight of this. That's. You know, you're not wrong. <laughs> kind of, that kind of makes me feel bad about what I've done here. I think I need to eat quite a bit of this cooked carrot. I don't know if I should have cooked all of it, honestly, but as I continue cooking all of it, that's fine. <laughs> uh, let's see. I do have berries to eat up as well. Let's go ahead and do that. And then I do have seeds to make a farm, so I should probably consider that option as well. For now, let's... Ah, uh, making some traps is not a bad idea either. Pretty parasol! Polish and portable protection from the from the rain, I assume. That sounds like fun. The backpack would be good as well. In fact, the backpack might be, uh... Yeah, you know what? I'll go ahead and make a backpack so we can carry all a bunch of crap with us. So I don't have armor anyway, and that's, uh... Probably the least of my concerns, at least for the first few days as I venture out into gathering territory. Do I need a shovel? Probably not. Oh, hello! I see, so that fire uh, only lasts... If it goes out, then it's out forever. That's very interesting. Alright, so I probably don't want to make that just willy-nilly, but it is a good use of niter. I don't know what it means by opposite day, though. More efficient, but still backwards. It needs batteries, or electrical doodads, rather. Endothermic fire pit. Miner hat is something I've always wanted to get. Moggles! Glowberry grants to wear smelly vision. Nice. Pumpkin lantern, a regular lantern. My goodness, there are a lot of very interesting things we can pick up on here. Alright. Let's go ahead and venture down this way. I think I need to, uh, well, this is all water, so I don't need to go that way. I'm going to try out this fork in the road and see where that takes me, because I need to go find... I think I need to go find a swampland, because it is good to have reeds for a few things, and I also need to try to find some beefalo if I can manage to do so. So let's go this way. Find some flowers. No flowers are good as well. In fact, I should probably consider having a garland done because I'm not occupying my headspace at all at the moment. Let's just make one right now. Just for funsies. I don't know if she's the kind of girl who likes a garland, but she looks so pretty in it. Look at her! Ah, oh, that's adorable. I love it. I love that on you, Wendy. You're rocking that shit. Alright. Well, not literally that shit. I didn't make you make a manure garland, did I? I hope not. Alright. Down we go. Lots more birch trees. The only name I can come up with for these things. A lot of flowers around here, too. Oh, hello. Wow. <laughs> it's covered in yarn. Why? Ooh, a raccoon. Interesting. Why is there yarn all over that tree? Oh, he looks... He's, he's just adorable. He's just... Man, with the flowers... He's gonna become evil at some point. That's the kind of thing that looks way too cute to not want to kill me. Um... Beefalo? No, I don't think I want to take this up yet. Let's go ahead and leave that plunked, plunked sinkhole there. Piggies! Hey, this is good! And nice pig king! Cool! I wish I had my gnome still. Oh, hang on a second. What's Abigail's flower doing? Abigail is ready to play, but she needs some space. Oh, beefalo! Oh, man, this is great! Holy crap, we're finding all kinds of goodness over here. All right, maybe I kind of want to make my campfire toward this area. That's not a terrible idea, but I could make two. I could easily make two. That's not a bad plan either. This is really good. I am enjoying these finds. This is all kinds of awesome. Pretty much everything we need. We got rabbits over here as well. Just a couple beefalo, not too many, but there's more over this way. 
Oh, yes! Oh, goody. That's exciting. Oh, come on, tell me there's a few more at least, right? There can't just be a family of three. That would... Well, that would make sense, I guess, but... I need more! More rabbits, more grass. Alright, I'm not gonna venture out too far. Well, I guess there's a road here, so never mind, I lied. Sounds like there might be rain at some point here. I wish I had my pretty little parasol. I think I can make it still right now, though. Alright, let's keep on wandering around. We still got half this day left, and then we got the evening time to make it back as well, so I'm not too concerned about that. Hmm. Alright, end of the road. I don't know how much further I need to venture. There are spiders here. I'm just gonna pick up that gold nugget real fast and then run away. More stone, more free stuff. This looks familiar. This looks familiar. I remember this kind of experience. I might as well get the free crap, and I don't know if this is connecting down here. I don't think it is. So maybe I should go ahead and uh, scurry about on my merry way outside of this place. Hmm. Running low on daylight here. I don't know if this is going to connect. I think this is going to be the end of the line on the left side here. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be... Yeah, all right. So that's an arrowhead of freedom to nowhere. This is, uh, this is Wendy's desirable resting place, I would imagine, too. Oh, no. Okay. I think I need to go. I don't think I want to stick around here as long as I am. I'm, I'm really making a mistake venturing out this far without any uh, idea of how much further I have to go. I don't think I have the resources for a campfire right now. I do, actually. Okay, so maybe I want to make one nearby to the pigs. That's not a terrible plan, I don't think. How far away am I at the moment? I think this loops around, so I can probably just go back over this way. Just kidding. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm really pushing my luck right now. I'm seriously pushing my luck right now. I can't do this anymore. All right. I can't, with a rightful state of mind, venture that far out. So let's go ahead and start heading back to the pig land. The pigs and the beefaloes will keep me safe, at least until I feed them meat. And then things go awry. Do these connect? They connect somewhere over here. Yes, they do. Okay. That's good. That's reassuring. The spiders will attack if I allow them to at night. I've got to be careful of that. I might be able to make it back to my own campsite here, but maybe I should collect a few more things along the way. At least I know that these things exist down here now. That's all I'm really concerned about in the early goings. But I have a few things I should probably put in my inventory, or uh, stash away, rather, and free up space in my inventory. Ooh, boy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it back. I'm going to follow the road as long as I can, see how... How much time I can save. I couldn't decide if my footprints were, uh, or my footsteps rather, were those of me or those of a foe. A foe! Out in the unknown. I thought this guy had a name for a moment's time. Alright, give me that. Thank you. I will take all of your manure if you don't mind. Should be able to make at least one farm now, and I am halfway through the evening, so it might be high time I build up another campfire here. How many pigs are around this place? Oh, oh boy, okay, that kind of freaked me out a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to make it back, but I could make a torch real fast. What do I need to get for that? One piece of grass. I think I can find that in the next little while. Hopefully I can find that. There it is, alright. Nearly walked right past it, but there we go. And, uh, she's not afraid of the dark, but that doesn't mean she can get, uh, or she's not capable of being killed by the darkness, so... Unfortunately, we do have to try to venture back to our campsite. And, uh, eventually I'm sure we will, uh, attempt to make use of a second campsite here as well. Uh, we are pretty close by. I think I can make it up. I'm gonna try to avoid building the torch for as long as I can. I will equip this as soon as need be. The darkness approaches. I'm sure she'll let us know at some point very soon. In some kind of creepy, macabre way. Almost there. Alright. Go ahead and equip this just to be safe. We've got 95% torch left to make it back home. We can do this. I'm just gonna follow the road as long as I can. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna oh, it's gonna take me right past my campsite. Okay, we've made it easily, so I just need to fuel something in the fire now. And uh, ashes are not gonna do it. I'm actually just gonna put these down. I'm pretty sure I don't want to have these in my inventory anymore. Put those in there and put a few logs in the fire pit. Boom and boom! Alright, let's preserve the torch, and we're good! So now do I want to make a farm here? I don't know if that's the best plan. Let's see here. We need, uh, we need a lot of grass and a couple logs to make a farm. Hmm. 
Well, first of all, let's put away uh, some of these unnecessary items that we have in my inventory. So let's put away the fire dart. Let's put away, uh, well, I think I want to keep the manure for now. Let's put the pine cones in the ground. I am full of emptiness. That <laughs> is an oxymoron, but okay. Uh, let's plant these down real... Oh, come on, buddy. Come on, you can plant stuff. I believe in you. I believe in you, Wendy. All right, we need to cook up some of these berries. We need them up, yum, yum. Oh, yo, yo, girl, she's so hungry. She needs food. All right, that might be enough. We put those away, and we can cook, keep the uh, keep the non-roasted berries for non-perishable foodstuffs for a little bit longer, hopefully. And that will take us through day three and through a resurgence of Don't Starve. Thanks, guys, for watching again. Hopefully, uh, you can forgive me for the hiatus, but we will be back in full swing here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.